Today, students have been sent home from universities because of strike actions. For three months, Polytechnic students had their academic calendar disrupted for similar reasons. The implication of all this has been disruption in academic calendars, falling standards of education at all levels, a high level of general insecurity, and a bleak future for the current generation and the Nigerian child. We in JAF are of the strong opinion that governments at all levels, federal, state, and local, in Nigeria operate anti-poor policies. And this is clearly expressed in their lack of disposition to public education. Funding of public education is not given the proper priority it deserves because the children of those in government and their friends are being trained in private schools in Nigeria and foreign countries with diluted public funds. Nigerians must know that the politicians at the presidency, state governments, national and state assemblies, top civil servants, traditional rulers, and their cronies of contractors and patrons we are beneficiaries of public education. Also, some of them set up private schools and universities in Nigeria and abroad with stolen funds from the public coffers. That is why none of their children are in any public school in Nigeria. That explains why they are not bothered when public primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions are short, and pupils and students have to remain at home for, for as long as the unions are frustrated to resume without government acceding to their legitimate demands. The case of Governor Babatunde Fashola of Lagos State is the most striking example. He enjoyed free tuition in University of Benin, without which he wouldn't have been educated Yet the same Governor Fashola turned Lagos State University, Lasso, into a high-cost fee-paying university from 25,000 to 320,000 Naira, thereby throwing children of the poor who voted for him and whom his government refused to pay the 18,000 minimum wage out of education. The vehicle to ensure that education is a right in a polity where the government is irresponsible to the needs of the people is mass action. In line with this, JAF is resolved with other stakeholders in the education sector to kickstart with mass rallies, processions, on Tuesday, August the 13th in Lagos, at the Nigeria Labor Congress NLC headquarters, Tejo Shoyaba, at 8 a.m. This will be followed by zona rallies in Kano, Ibadan, Oweri, Calabar, Port Harcourt, and Abuja. The rallies Stroke processions are built up towards a nationwide mass protest that will become inevitable should the government remain insensitive and intransigent.